Hi, if you're looking to write a power training form in the state of Georgia, you come to the right place. All you need to do is come to this web page, scroll down just a bit, and you can see that Georgia has six main power of attorney forms. Uh, the first being the durable and most popular, which allows you to choose someone else to handle any and all financial acts on your behalf. Uh, but what's special about this form is that if you should become uh, incapacitated or suffer from dementia and can't think for yourself any longer, this form stays valid. So if you have an elderly person or you're elderly and you want someone else to take care of your bills while uh, you may not be able to think for yourself, that's what this form can be used for. Uh, the health care power of attorney form, which allows you to choose anyone to take care of your medical treatment options as well as facility options on your behalf. The general power of attorney form. Now this is just like the durable where it allows you to choose that someone else to handle all your uh, financial decisions on your behalf except if you become incapacitated or suffer from dementia like we stated before this form becomes void. So this is actually much more common with uh, business partners and um, things of that nature where if one of them were to go down so to speak that uh, the other person still doesn't have that still doesn't have that power to act for them. Uh, if you want to give guardianship of a minor to a grandparent, that's what this form is for. For all state taxes, you can use this uh, tax RD1061, but it's not for the IRS, it's only to select someone else to handle state tax filings. Uh, this is actually very common. Uh, probably it's in a stack of papers when your accountant brings you your tax filing and you don't even know that you sign it. And then there's the motor vehicle which allows you to choose someone else to handle any and all uh, vehicle transactions on your behalf or register a vehicle or get title. So once you've selected which form you want, you just click on the thumbnail click on the PDF link and as you can see it opens right up and it should be in a fill in the blanks template format so you just go right in here and you just start filling out see how it's pretty self explanatory and it's not that long of a form and you want to make sure though that when you get to the end that you do not sign it yet you need to have it signed in the presence of a notary public uh, so that they can make sure that all the people that are signing are in fact who they are. And that's it. That's how you can fill in, create, write a Georgia power of attorney form.